just to have the land surveyed and laid out with this precision would cost about $100,000. When you're here looking at this, the first thing that you're struck with is the precision of the lines. Absolutely smooth, absolutely even. And where are the footprints? Where are the tracks? There's no sign of how anyone could have come here and done this work and then left. The other part is that when you see it from the sky, it's symmetrically perfect. But History has shown that events reported may not always be what they seem. In the late summer of 1990, an immense earth carving was discovered in a remote part of the Oregon desert. The Idaho National Guard has a huge mystery on its hands, and that is our top story today. During routine photo reconnaissance missions over Oregon, RF-4 jets spotted and took photographs of a huge carving in the desert over a thousand feet across. The mysterious design has appeared scratched in the dirt of a dry and isolated Oregon lake bed. From the air, a stunning sight revealed. Fully one quarter mile across, it's a complex design of nested triangles and swirls and exactly parallel lines. Its symmetry is perfect. The multidimensional significance of its design and its enormous size of over a quarter of a mile square evoked images of megalithic cultural symbols like the Druid Stonehenge and the mute statues on Easter Island. Reported worldwide, it captivated the public's collective consciousness, clouded in myths and conspiracy for over two and a half decades. Adding to the mystery, the design, known as a Sri Yantra, is a traditional East Indian symbol. Well, it's a symbol that aids in meditation, and it's called a Yantra. And what it is is a diagram that helps the mind focus on the point of meditation. The design in the desert was so perfect. I mean, literally by millimeters, it was perfect. And, and researchers just couldn't get over that. From point to point is exactly 11 and a half degrees. Exactly. In the outer ones, they're exactly 23 degrees apart. Exactly. No, no variation. No variation. And there's something else puzzling here. You do not see tire tracks, the kind of tracks that might be made by a tractor or a plow. No tire tracks and no footprints. The grand geometric design that's appeared in the Oregon desert has some talking UFOs. It has everybody talking. I mean, this, this is just something that will, it chills you. One local professor thought it the work of aliens. Good chance that it's a UFO-related event. A few days after the media's discovery of the design, an artist from Iowa came forward to say he and some friends had made it. What's art about? Art is, you make things that are beautiful, and that's, that's it. You make things that have a value of truth in them, and that's it. The media, however, continued to question the validity of his story, while conspiracy theorists rejected his explanation. Even today, 25 years later, there are still articles being written. All the blogs and the comments that are made on all these different sites, skeptics and researchers, that keep the mystery alive. So who did it? Why it was done? and how it was done. We're all excited because of lost footage that's been found and it's gonna give us the opportunity to tell the true story. Its beauty, along with the unusual events surrounding its discovery, placed its conception beyond the reach of reason. Now, after years of research and the recovery of actual visual footage of the events surrounding its creation, this fascinating true story can now be revealed. The documentary feature will tell what really happened and why it has taken so long for this remarkable story to be told. This is the story of what really happened in the Oregon desert. <laughs>